Today let's see binding and unbinding of events in jQuery. First of what is an event? Events uh, event is nothing but it is an object which contains data and methods. So you'll know more about events only when you practice programs and eventually get more experienced in object oriented programming. So in this there are various events like click double click focus focus out key press key up key down hover scroll resize select submit toggle trigger unload load etc in our example we will be showing for click event so in this html page we have three paragraph tags and a button let's see how it looks on our browser So let's see how we could attach some events and remove those events from those elements. It's nothing but binding and unbinding in programming language right now. That is jQuery. So once the document is loaded, we select the paragraph tag and for the click event, we would be writing the program that is we would call the anonymous function well well instead of this let me just put up an alert box and alert the user what he has just clicked so a good idea would be to show the text upon which he clicked that is the, the text present inside the paragraph which the user clicked now click on apple it shows apple click on oracle it shows oracle click on microsoft it shows microsoft there is a button called unbind now what i would be doing is once the user clicks on unbind button I would unbind the event associated with the paragraph tags so that uh, those click events on those paragraphs no more works because those events has already been unbinded by this clicking of button that is unbind button so I select the paragraph tag and just call unbind method let's check out on the browser Oracle Microsoft now once we click on unbind now click on these strings nothing happens because no event is associated with these paragraph text now now let's write another way of writing these methods that is bind it takes two parameters first one being the event second parameter being what it has to do with that event now let me see if it works the same way yeah it works i have binded the click event here now unbind the click event got detached the first parameter the event that is click so it should work the same way as it used to work previously so these functions could be even written like this the way i am showing right now in this video tutorial please visit technotip.com slash category slash jquery and also visit the link below this video in the description section of YouTube video and you would get more user events detail on our blog. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and our blog updates and please like it on YouTube.